We've got Don listening in North Carolina. Don, welcome to the program. Well, hi, guys. Hey, thank you for calling. Oh, thanks for taking my call. And uh, what's on your heart tonight? Uh, just a little confusion, and I'm sure you guys can clarify. Um, in Matthew chapter 13, it talks of a man that sows good seed in his field, and while they slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among them. Yes. So whenever they went to harvest, the servants asked what they should do, and he said, well, gather up the tares first and bind them in, to burn and then gather the wheat into my barn. Mm -hmm. Well, later on in Matthew, uh, chapter 24, around verse 40, um, it says, there shall be two in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the meal, the one shall be taken and the other left. Yeah. Are those verses related as far as the one taken is the tares and the ones left are are the wheat and if so the, uh, i heard a preacher one time say i want to be the one taken so is he an error <laughs> yeah well that that passage there that you find both in matthew and in luke about uh, two women in the field luke adds a third one i think luke says there's also two men sleeping in a bed matthew says yeah. two women in the field two men uh, two women grinding bread, two men in the field. Um, and, and the ones taken away, folks are shocked because the, the whole left behind scenario in people's minds misunderstand that passage. It says that um, the flood came and took away the unbelievers. As in the days of Noah, so will the coming of the Son of Man be where they were eating and drinking. I think, that, is that Luke 17, Pastor Russ? And marrying and building and they knew not till the flood came and took them away. Well, you think the ones taken away are saved, but no, they're taken away in judgment. And the reason we know is the disciples say, Jesus, where? He says, wherever the body is, that's where the vultures, the eagles are gathered. And so um, the w just to understand the mindset of the Hebrew, when the Hebrews were well behaved, the Jews, they got to stay in the promised land. When they misbehaved, the Assyrians came and took them away. The Babylonians came and took them away. And so the worst judgment would be to be taken away from the promised land. And a blessing would be to be able to stay. So it's talking about judgment taking them away. A and uh, just like the wheat and the tares, it says, yeah, the, the, the wicked are taken away in judgment while the uh, meek will inherit the earth. They get to survive. Oh, right. That actually clarifies that. So, yeah, that's a good question. A lot of people are surprised when they hear that. They think that the uh, two women in the field and the two, uh, the two women grinding, two men in the field, two men in the bed is talking about the secret rapture taking place. Poof, one is taken away. And, and it's really, Jesus didn't mean anything like that. Two women represent the two kinds of churches when the Lord comes, grinding the bread, sharing the word, Two men working in the field, Christ says the field is the world. Two men sleeping in a bed, there's two kinds of dead people. There's the righteous and the lost. And uh, now we've got a booklet we can send you, Don, and it's called Anything But Secret. Talks about, the, I think these verses are included in that. The number to call if you'd like to receive that is 800-835-6747. And again, you can ask for the book on the second coming. It's called Anything But Secret, and we'll get it right out to you. Thanks for your call, Don.